good. Okay guys, welcome back. So you guys just saw we picked up the block and they finished our rods as well, our connecting rods. So got those picked up, we'll take them back to the farm and we'll get this reassembly going. So I'll see you guys there. Say the liner height should be. I think it's one to four. Five. And I'm moving back. So you got at least five thousand, sir. And the you said the book said four. Yeah, I think it's one to four. Get the front up toward you. This is number two. Yeah. This is Jody's son, John. You were the video. Yep. Yeah, we're actually you're on camera right now. Okay, it's going to be really, really, really faint. I really hope you guys can see that. But on the top of that cylinder there, um, you can probably see a little arrow. And that's what I'm talking about. That's the front. It's orientating that piston to the front of the engine. So when I go and lay this out, I'll have it so the front is facing up. And then you've got your rod here. And it's also got a front marking. Right here, it says front, and that front marking will then orientate with how I've got the piston laid out. You gotta make sure that happens because that bowl on the, your piston is not centered, it's offset a little bit for the injector, so, um, for how it sprays. So, um, I'm learning this stuff just like you guys are right now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. So, we'll check the last two and get the last two assembled and keep on going. What we're doing here is installing the cam bearings and you can see they've got two oil holes in them. Um, one is for oil delivery to the cam and then the oil wraps around the bushing and it exits and uh, goes to the main bearing um, or vice versa. But uh, we have to install these so the, both oil holes line up absolutely perfect so you get full flow to cam bearing and main bearing and we're installing them one at a time we're going to take the tooling out and put the front one in next he was mentioning earlier that hole down there is going to line up the hole on the bearing right here is going to line up with this hole and that's what lubes your your uh, crankshaft bearing right yeah it actually goes from the main bearings first it so goes from to the, the main bearings and then from the main bearings to the camshaft. Okay, I got you. It oils from the bottom up. All right, so we're gonna pull this first one through now. Good. Got the last lifter here. 
Got her washed off. Got them all put in, oiled up. Went ahead and put a new cam in it, didn't we, Jake? Yeah. Spacer in between here. And this thrust washer that was missing. It had probably broke at one point and fell through the engine, took some uh, chunks out of the front journal of this camshaft, scarred up this thrust washer. So we're gonna go ahead and replace everything. Besides that, the lift on the camshaft was a little bit lower than we'd like to see. I think something that's really cool with putting these engines together is the fact that they put in so many precautions so you don't put something together wrong. So if you look here, um, both of these bearings have different tabs on them. Hopefully it focuses. This one right here has got a tab that's offset and this one's got a tab that's to the center. Um, it's really cool that they do that so there's no way that you can put these bearings on different halves. I'll do my best to show you guys what I'm talking about. This indent right here matches up with the indent right here on this bearing. And if you were to grab the other half of that bearing, that indent does not match up. So that's just some of the things they put in here. So it's impossible for you to put these bearings in backwards. I think that's really cool. And it, it's probably saved a lot of motors. So. Let's go ahead and get this uh, thrust bearing in and we'll keep going. I saw you took it off to oh, yeah. go in reverse. Pretty much dead on for I think. Yeah. It's more than I like, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Yeah. More? Um, I'm in yeah. Florida because my daughter lives down there. We kind of there you go. go down there. Yeah. I moved down. It ain't no big deal. Just went over. Okay. Yeah. We're at three thousandths on those, those two, and you can see here, we're using... Three thousandths on the main? No, I'm talking to the camera. No, we're three thousandths on the uh, rods. Right. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. We're using these bolts here. These are old rod bolts. <clears throat> we ground a mark in them so we know not to reuse them, but we're just using them for uh, plastic aging. So. We'll go through and we'll do all that and repeat this for the rest of the cylinders. So we 
torqued them to 55 and then you gotta go an extra quarter turn after you do your 55 pound run. Didn't quite make it, you're at 88, there you go right there. There you go. This plant, this thing never drops all the way down. Not John Deere enough, huh? All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here for this one. And where'd we leave off? Got the head on, got all the valves uh, set, uh, valve covers on, oil coolers on, got our flywheel and clutch on, uh, oil pan, rods, pistons, cylinders, uh, oil pump. Uh, pretty much everything internal is done on this motor now. So um, on the next one, we will uh, slap this this tractor back together and I guess we'll end up doing um, all the smaller stuff like the um, starter or let's see yeah the starter we'll do the um, injection pump all the fuel lines injectors stuff like that so that'll kind of be a hodgepodge uh, video of just basic reassembly and we'll go from there so we're gonna call it a video for this one I hope you guys enjoyed and be sure to stick around for the next one. I'll leave you guys with these wise words from Jeff Lukowski. Stay positive and test negative. I'll see you on the next one.